Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to install a free plugin that will enable a sales countdown timer on your WooCommerce website. Let's say you are launching a sale huge discount for a particular period during the festival. So in that case, you can show the sales countdown on your WooCommerce website. Let's see, this is an example of the WooCommerce website and here we have a sales countdown timer on the shop page of this website. If you want to set up countdown for the individual product, you can do that using this free plugin also. So if I go to this product, you will see the sales countdown on this particular product. So here you will see this is the original price 350 and this is the discounted price for this particular period of time. And if I scroll down, you will see that countdown will stay sticky at the top. And this is fully responsive countdown timer. If I use it on a mobile device, it will resize according to the device width. Here you will see the size of this countdown timer is adjusted according to the window. All right, so this is a free plugin that you can use on your WooCommerce website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using a WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install a free plugin to add a sales countdown on your WooCommerce website. So this countdown timer will be shown on the products page as well as it will be shown on the shop page of your WooCommerce website. So let's go to the dashboard and then go to plugins and click on add new. So we are installing a new plugin and this will be a free plugin. Now here search for sales countdown timer so this is the plugin that we are going to install sales countdown timer and this plugin is developed by a villa theme so let's click on install now meanwhile you can click on more details and see the details of the plugin so these are the details they do have a pro plugin and the free plugin has some limitations so i'll give you the link in the description box if you want the plugin has been installed now click on activate all right, so the plugin has been activated. Now here you will see the option countdown timer. Click on it and then go to countdown timer, this option. So we will check the settings of this plugin. So this is the general settings. If you want to disable the timer, you can simply disable it from here and save the changes. So it will get disabled. Now let's enable it. And this is the short code that you will need to put on the shop page. So it's not going to show automatically on the shop page. You will need to use this short code to show the timer on the products page, on the shop page. So let's see the general settings. Now if you want to start it, you need to set up the date and the time. So let's say today is 17. So I'm going to select this today's date, 12 M and it will be till tomorrow. Let's say, so it will be till tomorrow. So it will be one day. Okay, so these are some pro features. We do not need it right now. If you want, you can go for the pro version. So this is the time setup for the countdown timer. Now let's go to design. And here you will see some designs for this countdown timer. So before we go through the design and the style settings, let's save this and let's see how the default one looks on the shop page. So this is the shop page. So as I said, it will not show automatically on the page. We will need to put it manually. So let's go to the dashboard, then go to pages and go to shop and click on edit. Now let's copy the short code. You can copy it from here. So here I'm going to type in the short code and let's update it. If you are using any third party page builder, you can use the page builder to enter the short code on the page. So let's refresh it. Now here you will see the short code is showing on the shop page. Now let's go to the countdown timer again and go to design. And here you will see this is the default layout that we are using. So if you want, you can select these two, three options here. Let's use this one, the circular one. And here you will see the color settings. I'm going to change it. And here you will see the changes. Now let's change the border color. So this is the border color. 
so it's like a graph of the time remaining the font size you will see the font size here you can change it from here so it will get increased and this is the font color let's change it so you, here you will see the change in the color let's reduce the size text here so i'm going to change the size of the text let's say use 20 and you will see the change in the size here okay, now let's save these changes go to the products page and refresh it now here you will see the new countdown timer okay let's go to the countdown timer i think this it shows 2023 so we need to change it to 2022 so it's one day refresh it and here you will see 31 days so i'm making some mistake here so it should be now here you will see the day is not there because it's less than one day so let's change it to 19 and it will show the day also so it will be from 17th of october to 19th of october refresh it and here you will see one day remaining so this is how it will look on the shop page. We can also make changes to the layout, to the design of this. If you want to change this one, you can use this one. Let's save it and let's see how does this look. So this is how it will look. So I think the, the circular one looks better than the other one. Okay, now here you will see the option where you want to show. If you want to change this message, you can also change the message from here. Right now it says hurry up, offer ends in. So you can change it from here. These are the time separator. So here you will see the time separator here. This is the default time format. Where do you want to show the unit at the bottom or to the top? So these are pretty basic settings. You can definitely play with the settings and you will be able to make changes to the look or the style of this countdown timer. Okay, now let's save this and refresh it all right now let's see the other option is for the woocommerce product so if you want to show the individual product timer then you can also set up the product timer the countdown timer for individual products so and these are the settings for the individual product timer so let's go to the product one of the products here so let's select one of the product so i'm going to select this one Okay, and we are going to set up the sales countdown for this particular product so let's go to edit product now this is the product and this is the regular price we need to set up a countdown timer and we are going to offer some discount for that particular period so i'm going to sell this product for rupees 300 click on the schedule and we can enable the progress bar and you can enable the countdown timer for this particular product so it will be from 17th of october to 19th of october so you can make changes to the time and you can set up a different time for this one also now this is the goal that means how many products do you want to sell for this price so this is your product goal and what will be the initial quantity if, if you want you can simply skip these two options let's update it now let's go to the product and refresh it and here you will see the countdown timer for this particular product so this is the original price and this is the discounted price okay now let's go ahead and make changes to the countdown timer for this one so where do you want to show this so right now it is showing after the price make countdown timer sticky when scroll so these are the option if you want let's see here, if I scroll down, you will see the countdown timer at the top. It is sticky at the top. If you want to make changes to the position, you can make changes. Archive page. Let's go to the shop page and see how does this look on the archive page that is on the shop page. So this is the countdown timer for the shop. And here it should show. If you select the option, it will show here. Okay, here is the option show on the shop page so if i enable it save it and let's refresh it now here you will see the option showing on the shop page however it's going to mess up 
with the layout of the shop page so i'll recommend you not to show this on the shop page you can show it on the products page but do not show it on the shop page let's refresh it again because if you are selling this product at the sale at a discounted price here you will see the sale automatically coming up on that particular product page okay so i'm not going to show it on the shop page and here you will see the quantity and number of quantity and the goal that you set up for this particular product so from here you can make changes to the progress bar this is the progress bar here one product out of 10 has been sold at this particular price see now this is the position of the progress bar so we are not going to use this one if i reduce the size of the window and make it look like mobile you will see that it is responsive and it will also reduce the size of the countdown timer on the products page so it seems to be responsive on the mobile devices now let's go to the next option just below that countdown timer you will see this option check out countdown now this is actually the feature of the pro version so to use the checkout timer you need to upgrade to the pro version of this particular plugin and let me show you the features of the pro plugin you will see the pro plugin is around 18 dollars only so if you are really looking for the sales countdown timer you can definitely go for this pro version of this plugin and you can set up checkout timer and you will see many different options and features in pro version of this particular plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.